Hello everyone, get up to Master Line Saying for you again today and welcome to the return of a series I've not done for months and this is Internet Exploration where I look into some mysteries on the internet. So I guess the kind of meme of the series is that I use a different virtual machine every time I do it as I need to turn off this message on my TV because the TV is going to turn off, obviously very professional right here. And um, I've had a ton of problems setting this VM up, for example, display settings. I couldn't seem to get anything above 720p. And then randomly, it just goes to 1440p when I, you know, screw around with the visual settings in VirtualBox. So, yeah, it is what it is at the end of the day. The setup and probably the editing of this is going to be uh, way more than the effort that actually goes into making this video. So... With the audio being screwed up on the virtual machine and Internet Explorer, of course, good old Internet Explorer not working because it's a... Yeah, okay, whatever. Uh, it's been difficult to get this set up, let's put it that way. So all the ways to the minute, let's get straight into the two mysteries that I want to cover. Yes, two. First one, Mortis.com, which I wanted to cover for a while now. So back in the day, there was a website called Mortis.com. And unfortunately, I can't show it to you because, for instance, the Wayback Machine doesn't have any archives. And actually, it says that the URL has been excluded. So it's not even saved any archives of this uh, site. But you would have been greeted with a username and a password. And of course, when people found the site, they didn't even know what the information was. So naturally, it led to people bringing up the website saying what could the username or password be what's going on here and so I've got this uh, reddit thread up and I'll read through it um, so a while back I stumbled across this internet mystery while researching late city quiet pills that's something else as well that I could prob probably cover and came across an equally intriguing internet mystery related to a mysterious website called mortis.com apparently this website when it was active it was created in 97 as it has been long since been shut down okay sorry came up with a login and password screen that according to some experts was extremely hard to hack into with some resorting to using brute force applications and having little to no luck in getting past the login screen it got a lot weirder the more people started looking into it because more and more weird connections and links started being made with this website some of the more strange and weird aspects were the website seemed to be linked to a dentist office a lawyer and a high-end security firm Usenet files were discovered to be linked back to the website that were apparently encrypted with password protection and had weird titles. Some of the file sizes were huge, one of the biggest being 39 gigabytes in size, which got people wondering just what this website was hiding. Yeah, the servers of the website house like terabytes of information and nobody knows what actually was in the terabytes of information that was stored on this site. Uh, this is relevant to this video. All references to the site have since been removed from the internet, including a wiki page, and there is not much information regarding the website itself. The website was apparently owned by a mysterious individual named Thomas Ling, although it was speculated that this was an alias, as there seemed to be great difficulty in trying to gather and ascertain any information about him, other than he was an artist at one point. Over a dozen other websites were linked to Mortis.com and were just as mysterious and weird, one which had a white chess piece and nothing else. Uh, it was also reported at the time that Tom Ling apparently came out and said that the site was just for his wedding photos and nothing more. However, all this did was prompt people to work even harder to get through the login page and discover for themselves what was really going on. People also found other very bizarre connections, such as a site being linked to empty vacant lots and warehouses and people who were listed as having something to do with the site were all deceased, which fueled speculation that this site was a front for something much more sinister. The website was also, from various accounts from people who tried to hack in, very difficult to get past the login screen and the website was very well protected. If there was anyone around during this time who was actively involved in this little internet mystery and can shed some light and give more details as there is still so much about this site I'd love to know about that got lost when the wiki went down. I'd love your help and input as I'd love to clear up this mystery. Thanks guys. So anyone who can help me gather more info on this internet mystery would be greatly appreciated. Here's a few links that shed some light. There's an or a 4chan link and some internet archives from 4chan. Uh, so we've got some updates here, so update, I'll continue to update this post with any information I find as much as I can. 
Uh, I found this from the G section of 4chan. Now, I don't know much about 4chan, but I believe G stands for the technology section in here. As you scroll through, they show information about Link, his connection to a dental business and other associated websites. Uh, another persistent story, which is hard to back up, stated that the feds apparently became involved with the site for some unknown reason and shut it down. However, another Reddit user who was there when this site shut down claimed it was actually Tom Link who shut it down himself, again for unknown reasons. Which story is true is hard to say. It also opens up more questions and provides few answers. If the feds part of the story is true, why did they shut the site down and become involved? If it was Link who came along and shut the site down himself, I can only assume it was because of all the attention he was getting and he decided to shut down before any got too close to discovering what he was up to. So it only deepens the mystery. And of course, other of his websites like Mort um, like Tulu.net, I think it was, uh, those ended up getting shut down as well. Update 4, there were websites that were backtracked as belonging to Tom Ling that were just as weird. So Cthulhu.net, KarenLing.com, JoshuaLing.org, Lingsboer.com, EternalNight.com, DentalFillings.ne. To my knowledge, no one really found out what the purposes were for these websites either, and some of them believe uh, defunct. Okay. So update 5, as mentioned down in the comments below and here about the feds, I stumbled across these two Reddit users who were around during the time this website was active, give a bit more insight and another who has some interesting links. So uh, again, you can read through all this if you want to, but um, yeah, TLDR, X found a mysterious password protected website with terabytes of information before it was cracked, the FBI, FBI apparently stepped in and the website went down soon after. So that is that pretty much. So yeah, this was last updated in 2019 and of course you could try and load the discussion but of course in Google Chrome in Windows Vista it doesn't actually allow you to expand the discussion. So I apologise, I can't uh, dig into this any more than I can already but that was just an overview of Mortis.com. It was a password protected web page with terabytes of information. Nobody knows what was on the terabytes of information and the site has now been shut down. So it's difficult to actually gain access to the site, especially when internet archives of the site don't even exist because uh, the URL has been excluded. So now I'm at about seven and a half minutes into the raw recording, uh, I wanted to cover another internet mystery as well, that being the Markovian Parallax Denigrate. So this was another sort of old school internet mystery from circa 1996 that was before i was even born um so this involved messages with random words in random usenet posts because back in the day you had something called usenet and um, netscape and all that good stuff um it feels weird but talking about stuff that was way before my time but um yeah this had a uh, posts with random words and it's another one of these things where nobody knows what the words are supposed to uh, relate to what does it mean what is what's the purpose so people have had some speculation so i've opened up a couple of these um usenet has been archived by google so you can access these links so for instance we've got this one called cat 27 views it's from truck to someone and it says sterno gunshot vexatious thrown jutis clockwise scribner's babcock cybernetic moth marijuana borneo transport ripley sagging media imperfect exponentiate sparling chum medley rectitude potentious immemorial wrangle thunderous turmoil indian cinter haze redbud bendix icc parsley mace Millenarian Cromwell Mephoclirate Oklahoma. Okay, I'm now butchering, butchering some of these. And another one says Sadler Gutenberg Trilobite. I don't know, I'm, uh, from a Jack Little to someone. Schoolwork, folk song, Fredbear, Javelin, Salk Tagging, Fable, Oculatate, Neurosis, Salmonella, Toothing, or sorry, Teething, Beret. Chivalry, Scrooge, Artemis, Wonder, Hopeful, Stetson, Cook, Doolittle, Grain, Chip, Tomograph, W.A., Grady, Inexplicable, Bridesmaid, Boil, Bouncy, Officialdom, Test, Atypic, Opal, Lying, Playoff, Wall, Valet, Excretion, Bovine, Midweek, Counteract, Quadric, Gymnast, Australis, Juliet, Covariant, Procrastinate, 
Ploive, Astigmat, Enrico, Lise, Tritrium, Byzantine, Genuo, Adobe, Dabe, Ludlow, Can't. Sorry if I butchered some of those words, but when it's all random like that, then it's uh, a little bit weird to keep the flow going with some of it when it's just uh, nonsensical stuff. So you can see this spam, and I got this another Reddit thread that goes into some more detail about what happened. So the Markovian parallax denigrate is one of the oldest internet mysteries. It happened in 1996 when on the 5th of August a series of spam posts were made in several Usenet groups of which nobody to this day is sure who posted them, why and how they exactly were produced. Uh, so it's mostly affecting alt religion, Christian alt religion, Christian Boston church. Um, yeah, so stuff about religion. I was looking through them and I might have found some patterns. For those not familiar with it yet, read the Daily Dot article which describes it in detail and covers some other aspects which I don't cover here. Like the messages according to some debunked conspiracy theorists originating from a spy and functioning as a number station. In order to find out what exactly happened, it helps to look through the messages posted at the time. During this spam for this message was posted by Catherine in the Usenet group. Um, okay, that's just a message there, I'm not going to read that. After a message user, Phil explains that the posting host has been set to a user which had been targeted before. Uh, the perpetrator which Phil points out is according to another article not meant as a serious perpetrator and this was probably more meant as a joke I was looking into the message myself which can easily be found by looking in the Usenet groups and setting the date to the date that happened that one of the messages is coming from crap makes the suspicion higher that this was ordinary spam but the question and mystery is why exactly and how is this structured there have been some modern attempts at copying this spam, but they are obvious fakes which can be seen by words which are not spaced sometimes in their attempts. All messages of the Markovian parallax denigrate of proper spacing and use different kinds of words. And with what I found out, I think there are in fact patterns in these messages and they are not utter nonsense as one might expect. And the spam message which gave this away to me was this one. So I believe I looked at that one. This might look like utter nonsense, ICC was often mentioned in the attacked Usenet group. Some people also suspected the words being used, originating and being scrapped from other, well, yeah, okay, whatever. Let's make words which are associated with each other in bold. Scribners, Babcock, Cromwell and Oklahoma. So Cromwell is a place in Oklahoma. At worth point, they have the letters Egypt, Palestine, Babcock, Scribners, 1902 Travel. The letters from Egypt and Palestine, written by Babcock, published by Charles Scribner's Sons, 1902. These are not the only two things which would rather be a coincidence. Another message was Exogamous Venial Symbiotic by Alex um, Omita. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just like wanting to get through this already. But um, we've got Harrington and Dearborn. Harrington is a street in Dearborn. Then Grimaldi is a dynasty originating in Guinea. Okay, whatever, fuck it. So strangely enough, two words related to Genoa seem to happen in the same Markov spam post. It can, however, still be an odd coincidence. Another, similar, uh, another similarity is that in these spam messages, both the words pterodactyl happen in one three-worded title and in another three-worded title, the words trilobite, possibly the bot selected words based on the theme anthropology and fossils. In this message, the word zloty seems to get connected with the Polish name Piotr, Piotr or whatever. While the word immature can be connected to baboon as people associate a baboon or apes with immature behavior. Uh, so yeah, it's all about like pointing stuff out. So Fitzgerald, Bristol, businessman, millionaire, for example, you know, connected words, businessman, millionaire, uh, Edison, Lavoisier, and other stuff like that, right? It's all trying to pick out words that could have connections with other words that are included in the spam yeah it's all like you know jitterbugging mckinley abe break newtonian infer inferring core update cohen air collaborate root sports writing rococo invocate tussle or tussle or whatever shadflower debbie sterling for genesis blah de, blah de, blah right ditty craggy flogging episodic brotherhood web impromptu uh so mckinley Abe Cohen, sports writing, dunk, yearbook, hark, um, so stuff like that. So TLDR looked into spam posts of the earlier Markovian parallax denigrate mystery and made a summary of things in these posts about which I wonder if they are patterns. So 
that's another thing as well. There's speculation about what this was. Was this a troll? Was this a bot? Was this a real person? Uh, I think if memory serves, it was from an email going by the name of Susan Lindall, who was a politician, but then when she was questioned, she had nothing to do with it, supposedly. And I think somewhere else I read that it was someone who basically put that name in, uh, but it wasn't actually... It's like a fake... But I don't know how to describe it, but it's basically somebody else who put that name in to try and, you know be anonymous shall we say by going under somebody else's name um yeah i don't know what to say i mean it's quite mysterious when you have such random words thrown together but then some are capitalized and some aren't so you know what's uh what's going on with that if it was true spam then why would some letters or some words be capitalized unless they're referring to people or places so again who knows but that's been internet exploration so i started off by looking into mortis.com of course because the site's been down for so long it's difficult to actually look into this anymore so it's just one of those it's an echo of a bygone age as is most definitely the case with the markovian parallax denigrate which is also something that's a echo of a bygone age but it still exists people still talk about this i think and people still have questions there's no answers so what do you make of this stuff of course as i always say i'm not here to explain this stuff i'm just here to show it off to you in case you haven't heard of this before of course some of you may have heard it before and if you have then i apologize but um another video could possibly be lake city quiet pills i don't know if that's still away around or not or if uh I have to look into Reddit threads and just uh, explain what happens. But, you know, it is what it is at the end of the day. I would say this shitty little video is a pain in the ass because of Windows Vista not playing ball with me. But, you know, it's been a while since I've done this. I recently played Space Engine. I'm done Internet Exploration. I don't know if I'm going to do anything that I've not done for several months uh, again soon. But, you know what, I'll round the video off here. Let me know what you think. If you have any explanations of this stuff, then feel free to let me know. I'm sure other people stumbling on this video might want to have some answers as well if, ha if it has been solved and I've not come across the solution. So yeah, take care out there. Peace out and see you next time.